Well, we were going to do a video on uncovering the silo. If you can't tell, that's where I am right now. There's the unloader up above me. But it is raining cats and dogs. I am soaked to the bone. And it is just not a good environment for the GoPro camera. So we've got to pull the plastic cover off of here. What we're going to do is we're going to cut this in quarters. And we're going to throw this plastic cover down the chute. And then we've got to lower the unloader. You can put the blower pipe on there, which is right there. We're going to put that up on top and get that faced out the door. So that we can start feeding high moisture corn out of this silo here. Alright, we have uh, the covers all cut up into pieces. And then what I ended up doing is I pulled them over to the door. And I just... Uh, Pushed the end out through and then I just kicked all the crap off of the cover and then Nate's down below and he's letting the auger run uh, to have run all the crap that I dumped off of uh, these pieces. I've got some spots around the edges here where the black crap came off of the tarp. So once we get these pieces thrown down here, we'll uh, put the unloader down and let it run some. All right, I've got the pieces all uh, thrown down the chute there. They actually went down pretty good because they were all wet this time around. Uh, last year, the, the material was somewhat dry because it wasn't raining. So Nate is lowering the unloader right now. That is slowly coming down. And when we filled this silo, we had it full within about two doors of the top and now it's down eight doors one two three four five six seven eight uh so it has settled uh, roughly about 15 feet uh the material comes in uh on that side of the silo right there you can somewhat see the gooseneck in the roof comes down on top of the distributor the unloader runs while we're filling this it's got a spinner on there spins the corn to the outside of the silo and the outside uh, fills in and it kind of fills up like an inverted cone. Um, so what we have to do here, once the unloader gets down on uh, the feed here, we have to take the, the gooseneck off in there, the, the blower pipe, because this, this unloader's got a blower on it. We'll pull the distributor panel off, set the gooseneck on, then the material goes out the door and then it goes down uh, the chute here. Before this unloader gets down any farther, we'll just kind of show you how this works. What this is, is a single auger, and it pulls the material uh, in through, uh, or into uh, the center of the unloader. And the center of the unloader right here is a blower, and then that blower propels the material um, out and up through the blower neck there and out the silo now what this uh, unloader is is it's a ring drive unloader in order in other words there's a ring uh, this center ring here has holes in it and what there is is a gearbox uh, mounted right on the actual auger uh, assembly itself and there's a motor on there and and that drives a cog wheel in that ring and it runs the unloader real slow around the silo and then every time the the unloader makes one revolution we lower it an inch or so just so that it can constantly be feeding feed out of uh, the silo so once this gets to the bottom like i said we're going to get this blower neck on there and uh, we'll run it make sure everything's going to be good here and um then we can climb down and get cleaned up here. I am soaked right through from dirty rainwater running down that silo chute. I don't think it's raining anymore right now. And I've been sweating like crazy up in here. So we might as well get to work. All right, I think we are all ready to go here. Actually, I have to flip the switch. I'm thinking of it. This, uh panel here on the side of this unloader it's got two breakers in here it's got one for the ring drive and then it's got one uh, for the actual 
well, this larger motor here. It actually runs a sile loader, so when you put the unloader um, up to fill it, you turn your blower and your auger off so that the unloader will just run around uh, the outside of the silo. And what you can, of course, do once you're filling it, and uh, you want to drop corn or haylage, corn silage, whatever it is, in the center of the silo. If you're up in that chute there, you can watch the unloader go around and shut it off in various spots so that you haven't got to level off as much of the material that you have going in the silo. So we're getting ready to uh, start this unloader. I have my clean chute spout here. We're gonna throw the plastic clean chute down the chute. That's just a plastic uh, tube. And it doesn't really keep the chute clean, but it does um, give yourself a better funnel for the material to get right to whatever you have taken the material away from the silo. In this case, we have an auger. Um, it's supposed to keep your chute cleaner, but we're not dealing with haylage, so usually haylage is a real, here we go, mongrel. Um, dust gets all inside the chute. It makes, just, just makes a mess. But um, we'll run some of this out. Nate's down on the ground now, and then we'll, um, after we're sure everything is running good here, we'll go ahead and climb down. So give me a minute here. I'm going to call him. I have to apologize. I did not bring my GoPro up in here because I wasn't going to film this. I didn't want to get the camera all dirty and everything else, and I had my phone in my pocket. So I said, you know, I'll video a little bit of this. And um, you're stuck with my phone here. So I am uh, grubby as hell. I don't know if this image is going to be good enough because I have got nothing clean to wipe the uh, camera lens off here. So let's uh, get a hold of Nate and get this silo unloader running. All right, we are ready to go here. Uh, Nate's just got to grab my flashlight out of the chute. It fell out of my holder. And it fell some, oh, I don't know, 70 feet, 60 five to 70 feet or so. So that's down in the auger, he needs to grab that. And then he's gonna turn this unloader on and we'll watch this go around here. All right, there goes the auger. Now the unloader's gonna turn on. stuff now so let's go ahead and get down on the ground here and maybe I can get myself cleaned up I am soaked right through from crawling up that dirty shoe and um, yeah so let's go ahead and get down on the ground 
all right we're down on the ground here nate retrieved my flashlight here and yes it does work still so yeah it fell like 65 feet or something we did a drop test with it so that's gonna do it for this video folks i want to thank you for watching and we'll catch you at the next one